I've started a new religion. I've started a new church. I've started a new religion. I've started a new church. This new religion is the inner heart of man, of course, as all religions are. All religions are the inner heart of man. Every religion is that which is the inner heart of man. You cannot make a religion which is not about the inner heart of man. When I say man, I mean, of course, men and women. I mean humanity. I mean mankind. I've started a new religion. I've started a new church for the inner heart of man, for that which has no temple for that which has no church because every heart every heart needs a true temple every heart needs a true church but temples and churches today are either too noisy either too noisy or they are filled with too much propaganda or they're closed <laughs> If it's a Christian Christian church, it will probably be closed. And if it's open, okay, good. In some countries they are open around the clock nearly, which they should be. And, and uh, why not? I mean, you can have guards in there. You can even have armed guards. The most important thing is that, that it's quiet safe and that people can come at any time. If we have to choose between open churches and armed guards in churches, then I, I have nothing against armed guards in churches, as long as they stay behind a curtain or something, as long as they hide themselves. But anyway, forget about that, because religion is only this. The reception of nothingness inside the inner heart. The reception of nothingness inside the inner heart. That is the sacred thing, that is the divine spirit. The reception of nothingness inside the inner heart. That is the sacred. That is the most pure essence that you can ever find anywhere in this world. The reception of nothingness inside the inner heart. So I've created a new heart. I've created a new religion. I've created a new church. I've built a new temple for the inner heart and for the reception of nothingness inside the inner heart. I built a temple for this. There's no armed guards. There's not even a CCTV in there. There's no camera, no supervision. It's just uh, a space for you to experience your own reception of nothingness inside your inner heart. And by this you will be filled by the Holy Spirit. Because this is what fills you with the Holy Spirit. This is what makes a Buddha holy. A Buddha which is a Buddha which does not have this experience cannot be a holy Buddha. He becomes holy only if he has the experience of nothingness as it touches the inner heart, as it meets and fuses with the inner heart, merges with it. Jesus Christ too, he had some of the reception of nothingness inside his inner heart. That was, that is what made his love pure. That is what constituted the purity of Jesus Christ, that he was receptive for 
the experience of the reception of nothingness inside the inner heart. This is the way he came to God. This is the way he touched God. He just got lost in the concepts of the day, in the day-to-day -day terminology. He just got lost in the words of the Pharisees, which he had to use. He had to use the terminology of the day, and because he had to use the terminology of the day, it became a little bit too many rules and regulations, you know. But Jesus became a holy man because he was receptive to the experience of the reception of nothingness inside the inner heart, which is the experience of the divine. It's the birth of the divine child. It's the birth of the Christ, you could say. Because it's the purification of the heart, it's the pure purification of the soul, it's that which strips away the ego, it's that which removes the psychological self from the human being. It's that which removes the false self from the human being. And when the human being is only heart, when the human being is only the reception of sacred holiness, of the elixir and essence of nothingness inside his own heart, he becomes holy. And this is to touch eternity as well, because the eternal, the eternal thing is space, and space is nothingness. I don't mean to say that God is nothingness, because God is not nothing, nothingness. God is the sacred divine energy that comes from the reception of nothingness inside the inner heart. Anyway, I've created a new religion. I've created a new church. Anyone can attend it. Anyone can listen themselves into it. Because it's all about being aware and alert of that which opens the heart to purity. And purity is all that we want, purity is all that we need. And we are moving forward into purity with a heart that is receptive to the divine light and the nothingness that touches the inner heart of the human being when we are receptive to that which we have to be receptive to, when we have the religious, divine, inner heart experience.